Hey guys, this is my 1968 Case 444. Uh, made this video because there's not a lot of people out there that uh, show you how to put power angle on a plow. Uh, this could probably be helpful for anybody looking to put a power angle on. Um, this was my first uh, hydraulic project that I tried to customize, so I had a lot of trial and error on this. Um, basically got a cylinder back here uh, right up front with about a six inch throw on it and uh, here you can see my mounting plate that I use I use a piece of angle iron and there's good enough space here so when the plow is all the way up that this won't touch right here and bend anything and it also keeps the cylinder out here far enough so that you got a good anchor point and you don't have to try to anchor from here up into here so you got a lot more uh, it's a lot more forgiving if you anchor off of the side like that something else I did is I bought some uh, some three-point uh, top link weldable brackets or eye swivel eyes right here so that way this kind of that's nice and free so you're not putting any binding on the cylinder at any time after I got it all done I I uh, went to the PPG paint store and I bought some Flambeau Red uh, brand new paint and new decals for the plow so I'm just thinking about doing the rest of the tractor in the springtime. Uh, I originally hooked it up I had a uh, an extra valve when I bought the tractor and I hooked in my uh, off of the pump side right here and then it hooks into the valve and back into the travel control valve underneath the tractor here. Then you have two lines that go out to the back of the tractor right where this loop is. That's in case I bump the lever it'll just run right back into the, the return line. Uh, but yeah, I ran my lines out here at first all the way up to the front of the tractor to the to the cylinder here and it slammed the cylinder. The cylinder was way too fast and I put smaller orifices in it but it just bogged the pump down way too much and I don't want to risk uh, splitting that pump and breaking that so uh, I'll show you when I get to the other side of the tractor what I did to fix that I also have the, uh, the case 50 pound weights and uh, the tire chains and the rear tires are filled with 12 gallons of uh, windshield washer fluid so I'm looking at about uh, probably around 200 pounds of weight before I even sit on it here's what I did here on this side I just added a another hydraulic valve and I, I bought that valve on eBay on a, high, um, a case salvage site and that's the same valve that's used here for the deck lift so uh, let me see if I can find a flashlight here. Maybe I can get a little better view of that for you. You can see right there, I left that. That's factory. That's for the, the deck lift or the plow lift. And then right there you can see where I put a, a nipple in. And then I come out here with a 90 right there. So that's from the outlet side of the the deck lift valve right there. And you follow that line right there to the inlet side. This is for the power angle. Outlet side. And then this flows back to the tank or the, the cooler. It goes right into the cooler right there. So that's how to hook that in. At first somebody told me to tee into the to the uh, deck lift valve right here and I did it it's tight there's uh, not too much room in there I did it but it ended up I had no control um, without having to use both handles I'd have to use them both to get the plow to go up and down and it would kind of go sideways a little bit too but you just had no control without having to close one side or open it so the right way to do it is go from the outside the outlet to the inlet to the well, I'm sorry the inlet to the outlet 
to the inlet and then to the outlet. So don't don't wire them in uh, parallel. Do it in series. Plumb them up in series. And uh, then what I did is I put two quick connect fittings right here. These are quarter inch lines, and then that way every springtime and every fall, I don't have to get the wrenches out. I can just plug right into them, and that plugs right into my cylinder up front there. So I'll go ahead and fire this thing up, and then you can see what she operates like. That is my Case 444 with a 54 inch blade and she's ready to plow snow.